Okay, so we're going to talk now about holding the bow for violin and viola players. Um, this is an important skill to get, and it was one that I didn't necessarily get right away when I started playing my instrument, because um, it actually has a lot to do with how well your instrument sounds. We can practice holding our bow by using a pencil. So I have my red pencil here. And the bow is going to go in the right hand, but for now I'm holding it in my left, just holding it, no particular way. With your right hand, what I'd like you to do is pretend that you're holding a water bottle, one of those squishy water bottles that if the cap is off and you squeeze it too tight, then all the water shoots out at the top. So you're going to hold that water bottle gently but firmly. Okay. Next thing I'd like you to do is pretend that you are pouring the water into a cup. So go slowly, don't spill it. So turn your head. Okay. Now this is the next step that gets a little bit tricky. So you're going to take your pencil bring it over and place it on the very tip of your thumb, just like that. When you've done that, oh, make sure you're doing this in the middle of the pencil somewhere because you need room for all your fingers. Then the next step is very simple. You're just going to let your fingers fall onto the pencil. You can let go with the other hand. Actually, if you want to bring it back in, what we're going to do is take the pinky finger and pop it up on top here. The other fingers are going to stay low. An important thing to remember when you're doing this with the book with the pencil, is to practice the thumb. Do you see how there's a big bend in that thumb? Basically, this is your bow hold. I'm trying to do it very simply and very easily. Okay, so now we're going to try that with the bow itself. And we're going to start over from the beginning. So I'm going to hold the bow just in my left hand and my right hand is empty. I'm going to pretend I'm holding a water bottle. Pour it into a cup. Okay, so this next step is where it gets a little tricky. So take a look at the bow. We have the frog right here and we have the grip on top. There's a little tiny space where the stick shows through between those two things. So I'm like this. I'm going to bring the bow over and place that spot right on top of my thumb. Just like that. Okay. Once I have that, I can drop the fingers, just let them fall very gently and then pop the pinky up on top. We got the bow hold set like that. Now this should not be painful. All right, try to keep your hand as relaxed as possible and keep working on just getting the fingers nice and round. Um, make sure sometimes what I see happen is this pinky finger falls over and then all the other fingers follow it. I see fingers on the bottom of the frog. That's a no good situation there. Keep them on the side. There are no fingers at all on that white stripe on the bottom. Not a one. Okay. So that is your bow hold.